I'm saying bye to Diablo 4, not because I have routine, not because I lack time to play. No, simply the game sucks. The game is on constant verge to become less and less and less enjoyable by the time I'm coming back from work or I'm deciding to play the game. Each and every patch note is bigger and bigger but giving less and less impact for my enjoyment and my pursuit of having any sort of joy in the game. This game have a vision of player base to be on constant grind to earn money so that we could be purchasing new battle passes. That's about it. The story ends after you complete the campaign, there's nothing to do after you finish the game and the uh, Blizzard developers seem to know that clearly that in order for them so they could make more money, prolong your play, all they need to do is just make horrible updates, don't speak about them and then two weeks later announce that they're gonna revert the changes and fix the problems that was addressed, you know what, a month ago. This is not a new revolutionary thing that they're inventing, that they're listening to the community. They're saying that the game's gonna be great, just give it a little bit of time. And you know what? After spending 100 on this game, pre-ordering it and playing it through beta, I honestly felt that beta was like peak of my enjoyment of this game. It got a little bit higher after I completed the campaign. But after I completed the campaign, everything went just straight downhill. It looks like the team have not invented or invested any sort of into any sort of tactic so they would bring players back so they would build joy for player base i can compare this game to any other game like arpg game fps game any other game like if you play the game developers are making game to keep you longer to make you have fun in the game well, Blizzard is just saying, nah, nah, you shouldn't be doing that. You should be playing the game because um, you're a fan of Diablo 4. Not because the game's cool, not because there's something to chase for in the endgame, not because there's such a big promise ahead. Nah, this is because you're, you're a fan of Diablo 2, Diablo 3, Diablo 1 series. You have purchased the collector's editions or some sort of nonsense and you're just so compelled to play Diablo 4 as you have so many items and such a big history around this this title that it would be shame if you've, you would not be playing this game and sharing your thoughts on Reddit and all of the other social platforms how you love the game and how you want to play it with your friends. Well, this is part of the community which is like massive. And you know what other part of the community is doing? They're leaving Diablo 4. They're leaving it for any other game. <laughs> I tried medieval games. I tried Path of Exile, the game that I have invested 1000 hours and quit so many times that I don't even know the count. But I, I but I download the game. I open it. And I feel fun because I'm being challenged. There's end game and there's so much content that I would firstly burn out by trying to learn things rather than being burned out by the fact that there's nothing to chase for because like youtube video why make six or seven minute video when you can just end at the end when you communicated your point the game is dead there's nothing to chase for upgrade your game else the community is gonna leave stop holding out hope that blizzard is gonna come back everyone who founded blizzard all the principles that blizzard was founded on they're gone or they're dead <laughs> No one died. Sorry, the principles are dead. That no one died. Principles that Blizzard was founded upon are dead. They've been desecrated uh, and are destroyed. So let Blizzard go. That's my main message.